Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I'm going to guide you through all the tips and tricks you should know, especially if you're switching from Windows to Mac. Now, before going ahead, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, let's start with the first basic thing and that is how to open or close any particular application. Now, if you have added application to Dock, you can directly access uh, it from there. Now, if I want to open App Store, you can see App Store is present in Dock. If I tap on it, you can just simply open it. Other way is, uh, if you want to open application through Launchpad, then again, you can go to Launchpad option in Dock or else you can pinch with four fingers uh, on Trackpad if you're using a MacBook. And then you can open Launchpad and you can select the application which you want to open. So yeah, opening process is simple. Now how to close it? See, if I go and select this cross icon on uh, Safari, now you can see the application is closed, but it is not closed from background because if I go to a uh, dock, you can see black dot is still present below Safari icon, which means the app is still running in the background. Now if I open it once again, you can see it is still running. Now how to close it? So you can just simply go to Safari option on the menu bar. You can tap on it and you can select quit option. This is the first way. Other ways, you can just simply go to dock once again. You can tap with two fingers or you can right click on the Safari icon. And from here, you can select quit option. And now you can see application is completely closed from background. So it works with each and every application. But if you want to know the shortcut, now if I go to App Store, you can see it is currently open. If I press Command plus Q, the application will be completely closed. Now you can see black dot is not present which means the application is closed from background so if you want shortcut you can use command plus q or else you can just simply use that quit option so guys the next thing is uh, if you're coming from windows to mac then let me tell you one thing that there is no such thing as cut and paste in mac but yeah you can copy the file and you can move it first take a look at how to copy and paste the file so i have created a folder over here and there is one screenshot over here so just select the file which you want to copy after selecting the file press command plus c to copy and if you want to paste it just go to that particular folder or destination where you want to paste it and instead of uh, instead of using Control v you have to use command and v to paste the file now you can see it has created a copy right so one file is present in this a folder and another one is present on the desktop now what if i want to move the file so let me delete this file from desktop first now if i want to move this file from a folder to desktop what i'm going to do is the initial process will be same select the file press command plus c to copy the file and in order to move it this time all you have to do is you have to press option command and then v now you can see the file has gone from a folder but it is it has been moved to desktop so yeah there is no cut and paste but you can use copy and move option in mac now the next thing you should know is how to delete a file completely from mac now see in windows you do get a dedicated delete button and a separate backspace button but in mac the delete button or the backspace button is the same now if i select this file if i want to delete this screenshot now if i select the file and if i press delete button you can see nothing is happening in order to delete it what i have to do is i have to press command plus delete after selecting the file and now you can see the file is gone from desktop but the file is still present in bin or you can say recycle bin. Now, if I open it, you can see the screenshot is still there. Now, if you want to put back, all you can do is select the file, uh, right click or tap with two fingers, select put back option, and that file will be brought back to the original destination from where it was deleted. So, yeah, this is one way of deleting the file. You can just simply select the file and press command plus delete to delete it. But if you want to delete it completely without sending it to recycle bin, then the shortcut you can use is just simply select the file and press option plus command plus delete. Now you will get a pop up screen like this. Now here it is asking, are you sure you want to delete? And the note is given over here. You can see this item will be deleted immediately. You can't undo this action. Now, if I select delete option over here, you can see the file is gone from desktop. And if I go to recycle bin, you can see the file is not present over here. So in order to delete it completely, just select the file or folder which you want to delete and just simply press option command and delete to delete it from Mac completely. Now, if you want to lock screen in your Mac, then the process is little bit different when you compare it to Windows, because in Windows, if you press Windows key and L uh, at the same time, it will lock the screen, but it doesn't happen in Mac. All you have to do is you can just simply use a shortcut. Either you can go to uh, Apple logo at the top on the menu bar and select lock screen, or else you can use the shortcut, which is control command and Q. Now, if you press control command and Q, now I'm not showing you directly because it will stop the screen recording, but yeah, you can just simply uh, use this control command and Q option to lock the screen. 
Now in Windows, if you want to rename any particular file, what we do is we select the file and we press F2 in order to rename it. But in Mac, it is different. You can just simply select the file or folder which you want to rename and press return button. And you can see now I can rename the file. If I want to name it as files, again, rename it and press return button to save it. So yeah, this is how simple it is to rename file or folder in Mac. Uh, just simply select the folder or file and press return button to rename it. Now, if you want to uninstall any application in your Mac, then the process is actually very simple. All you have to do is just simply go to finder option in dock, go to application section and over here, either you can select that app which you want to uh, uninstall and after selecting the app, all you can do is you can press command plus delete and the application will be uninstalled from your Mac. Other ways, you can just simply go to search option over here if you want to search for all the additional files with that particular app. And if you want to remove that as well, then you can search for that app name. Now, in my case, I'm going to search for tap record and this is the application. If there are any additional files with this uh, particular app, then it will be showcased over here. And again, you can press command plus A to select all the system files as well. Now, if in case uh, you won't find system files over here, then uh, to do that, to find that system files, all you can do is after searching the application, you can just simply press plus icon and you will get a section over here in name you have to select system files and instead of R, uh, aren't included you have to select are included and after doing that you will be able to check out if there are any system files present with that application or not if yes that uh, that uh, system files will be displayed over here again you can press command plus a and after that to remove the application or to uninstall the application completely you just have to press command plus delete now to create a folder in windows the shortcut for that is control shift and n but in Mac, it is a bit different. Instead of uh, control key, you just have to use command key. So if I want to create a new folder on desktop, I'm going to press command shift and N. Now you can see it has created a new folder. Now how to rename it? Select the folder or file, press return button and rename it whatever you want. So this is how simple it is to create a new folder in Mac. And to delete it completely, you know the shortcut for that option command and delete. Now, uh, suppose if you have opened multiple applications at the same time, and if you want to switch between applications, then the shortcut for that in Windows is Control plus Tab. But in Mac, you have to uh, use Command plus Tab to switch between application. So instead of Control, you just have to use Command key. Now, the next thing we should know is how to minimize or hide the app. See, in order to minimize it, there are two ways. Either you can go and select this yellow option over here, and it will uh, minimize the application. And if you want to directly use a shortcut, Either you can use command plus M to minimize it. But after minimizing the application, if I press command plus tab, you can see it is not allowing me to switch to that application or to open that application. So what happens is if you minimize application in Mac, you won't, you won't be able to uh, switch between apps later on. But if you use shortcut command plus H, it will hide the app. Now you can see I have, uh, you know, I used command plus H for app store and safari but again if i press command plus tab this time i can still access the application directly so yeah to minimize it the shortcut is command plus m but if you want to hide it the shortcut for that is command plus h so that's pretty much it for today's video guys uh, do let me know in comment section below if you want to know more tips and tricks related to mac and if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you